We begin with the First Lady. She's in town right now after touring the Truman Library. Good evening, I'm Laura Moritz. And I'm Chris Katz. It's been a busy day for Dr. Jill Biden. KME Snipes' Matt Evans is following her visit. He's live outside the Truman Library in Independence. Matt? You know, this is the fourth time that Dr. Biden has been in Kansas City since her husband, President Joe Biden, took office back in 2021. But this is also the third time that she's met with local students here in our Kansas City area. Of course, that's because she has a training as being a teacher. The first lady arriving to the Truman Presidential Library and Museum today. This is the first time since 1994 that we've had a sitting first lady in the building. This library is like the, the, the crown jewel of independence. To highlight some of the educational programs here. She looked on as students worked through a simulation of a difficult decision of Truman's presidency desegregating the armed forces in 1948. She was nice enough and she's just kind of chilling there in the corner like like when an administrator walks into the room in the classroom. It's a really cool experience being able to meet someone that high up in the government and saying that that's something that we can say we did in high school. While there she also gave some students some inspiration for their future. You should think about running for office yourselves. Being a politician is a, is an honorable career. I took a lot from her saying that it's valuable to be a politician. And that encouraged me to actually go for it because I don't know what I want to do yet, but that definitely gave me an idea of something to persuade. Yeah, or pursue. She's exactly what these teachers were hoping for. One of a kind hands on learning experience beyond what any could teach in a classroom. I think anytime we can give our kids an authentic experience um, to be able, we you know we talk about all these things in class, but for them to get to experience it and really get to interact with the people who make decisions for them, I mean, it's a pretty big deal. In talking to the museum director today, he also told me that he hopes Dr. Biden was inspired a little bit herself as she and her husband starting to think about their legacy, starting to think about building their own presidential library and museum. He hopes that maybe some of the stuff they saw here might influence some of those decisions. Live in Independence tonight, Matt Evans, KBC 9 News. Before she left, the First Lady paid her respects. She left flowers on the graveside of President Truman and First Lady Bess Truman. She's now speaking at a private political event for her husband's reelection campaign before she leaves town.